There's no point in talking about Linux if I can't edit my videos and record in Linux. I would say the Windows counterpart would be Sony Vegas Pro, and that's saying a lot. Kaden Live. Hi, 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 hi. If you really want enlightenment, then just lighten up. Keep Wall Street occupied is a really, really great idea. I get a lot of junk mail. I do. Most of the junk mail I get is unsolicited credit card offers. And up until Occupy Wall Street, I used to just toss these in the bin unopened. But Occupy Wall Street got me thinking. These offers are from the same financial institutions that ruined our economy by speculating on the housing market. This isn't junk mail. This is an opportunity for a dialogue. Why? Well, see, inside every one of these credit card offers, is one of these. It's a business reply mail envelope. The bank signed contracts with the post office to get these envelopes and they only pay postage on the envelopes that get mailed back. Now the banks are assuming that we'll use these envelopes to send in our credit card applications, but we don't want more credit cards, do we? We certainly don't want them from the big banks that caused the financial crisis. We can use these envelopes in other ways. We can have a dialogue. So, phase one, this is the easiest. Everyone can do this. Just take the envelope, lick it, seal it, and send it back empty. It's quick, it's easy, it takes you five seconds at the mailbox every day, and it costs the bank about 25 cents. Now I know, that means banks pay less for postage than we do, but please, let, let's have that protest another day. Phase two, if you're willing to put a little more work into it, would be to send it back full. Just take all the materials that came in the envelope, put them in there. Take the envelope itself, put that in there. I mean, after all, the heavier the envelope is, the more it's going to cost them in postage. And then any other junk mail you got that day that you think might be interesting to them. Like you got this baby products catalog. I'll put that in there. I mean, bankers have babies. And being immoral doesn't mean you're infertile. Other thing that I do is I send them a note. I printed out a bunch of notes on my printer, and I just clip them out, and I put one in with each envelope. That way, they know that this wasn't just a miscommunication. It actually was communication. This one says, hello, big bank clerk. Please join a union. Now, phase three, if you're willing to put a little bit of money into it, and I do mean a little bit, would be a wood shim. This is a wood shim. It's, ex it's exactly what it looks like. It's a piece of wood. You can get a pack of 12 of these at a hardware store for about $1.50. Now, a wood shim, when you put that into the envelope, oh, and Put a message on it too so that it's actually communication. This one is hashtag OWS, Occupy Wall Street. Put the shim in the envelope and suddenly the envelope becomes really heavy and more importantly, it becomes rigid. Why does that matter? Well, a rigid mail piece costs more than postage to mail. That's why Netflix has to pay more money for the DVD mailers than if you pay to send a postcard. You can go further with this idea. I think the gold standard for postage paid protest would be something like a roofing shingle, because that's really heavy and dense and crumbly. Um, but it's important that this should be about communication. So I think that putting some sort of message, so, you know, clear, rational, debate, a slogan, something you saw in a good sign, I think that that matters too. Think about the scene in the mailroom at a big bank. 
when they get a few dozen roofing shingles, a few hundred wood shims, and a few thousand empty envelopes. They're probably going to have a meeting about it. And that's the point of this. This isn't really about running up the postage bill in the big banks, although that's a nice side effect. The real effect of this is to force banks to react to us. If they start getting hundreds and thousands of weird responses to their credit card applications, well, they're going to have to have meetings, they're going to have to develop new procedures, and every hour banks spend reacting to us is an hour banks don't spend lobbying Congress on how to screw us. It's an hour banks don't spend foreclosing on our houses. So I think that that's progress. Now, this uh, postage paid protest sort of thing, this is no substitute for getting out into the street and making your voices heard. The Occupy Wall Street movement started in the street, and for the time being, that's where the life of this protest is. But after you've been out there lending your voice to the crowd, or if you happen to live in a city that's away from the big cities that are having major Occupy movements, go to your mailbox, spend five seconds sorting through your junk mail, and send some stuff back to these guys. If you can't Occupy Wall Street, at least keep Wall Street occupied. As a matter of fact, here's how great I think it is. Here's something you guys can anticipate on. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be, me and my friends and family are going to be saving up you know, roughly around 200 of those nice little, you know, postage paid if mailed in the United States envelopes because we get a lot of that junk mail that we can use to have a conversation with but I'm going to do it in bulk I'm going to video once we have them all done up and I'm gonna I'm gonna use a uh, double sheeted cardboard because you know that's easy to get for free um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have have these I'm gonna video them like all together you know so you guys can see that they're all prepaid envelopes and you know that it is what it is I'm gonna mail them out at about 10 at a time and um, I'm hoping that this will encourage all of you to do similar things. Because, remember, opportunity, not burden, there's value in every situation. And there's my lovely, enjoyable pond. There's value in that, too. I built it myself. And seeing as I'm uploading this to the um, Paradigm Shift docs for you, YouTube profile, if you want to see more about my pond, go to Pondscape. Because um, that's where you can check out that. I do fish and stuff like that. Oh, very good. But, um... Last week I posted a video about how we can keep Wall Street occupied by using the business reply mail envelopes that the big banks send us in with their credit card offers. Uh, this is not the original video, I just had a few quick follow-up thoughts. Uh, number one, please do it. it. It's great that the video bounces around the internet and people are laughing, but this only starts a conversation with the banks if lots of people mail the envelopes back. Number two, please don't overdo it. Some people are really running with the notion that because the heavier envelopes cost more in postage, uh, they should take the envelope and stick it on a brick, or I'm going to put it on a rabbit alligator, or I'm going to put it on a bowling ball. Don't do that. Please don't do that. It's overkill. Um, it's unrealistic. Alligators are reptiles. They can't have rabies. And all you really need to do is up the weight a little bit. Uh, put in some information about unions that the bank mail clerks can join. Uh, put in some cardboard, put in some pennies, uh, put in the rest of the junk mail you got that day. It's also totally okay to mail back the empty envelope. You're still part of the conversation that way. Um, number three, please don't be a wimp. Some people are freaked out that the banks are going to read a barcode or they're going to get your fingerprints on the envelope and they're going to track you down and then you'll be in trouble. Well, the banks aren't going to do that. That would be a huge hassle. And also, that's not trouble. People in this country got tear gassed this week because they went out in public and they spoke their mind. That's getting in trouble. This, this is low-key minor league stuff and I get that. I do. Um, please, we can all be brave enough to send in some empty envelopes. Uh, number four, please don't call this an alternative protest. Um, 
This is not an alternative to Occupy Wall Street. This is an additional protest. This should be a small part of the Occupy Wall Street movement. It's still important to be out there in the streets. Uh, number five, please scale this idea. Uh, if you uh, have access to uh, you know a whole lot of cardboard that you can cut out that can fit like this, bring that cardboard to your local Occupy movement and uh, link to this video and make some friends. Have something to talk about with people. If you go to college, set up a folding table near the Campus Center mail rooms to make it as easy as possible for students to send back those envelopes. Uh, number six, this protest is not bad news for the people who work in the mail rooms or the big data processing warehouses for the bank. Uh, let's dispense with the idea that more work is bad for people. That's, I mean, it's Halloween. It's like saying that Halloween is bad for candy stores because it causes huge lines for the cashiers. Um, this is overtime shifts. Uh, this is more employees. This is helping the banks hire more people. Um, I think this is good for those guys. Um, I know that envelopes won't destroy the big banks, and that's fine because I don't want to destroy anybody. Uh, I want to have a conversation. I want to have a huge crowdsourced conversation uh, with the nation's largest banks, and I want those banks to pay the postage on that conversation. That's it. This is small time stuff, and I get that. Yes, um, let's keep it occupied. LegalMusicSearch.com Legal